The AVAX ecosystem is about to explode with Avalanche Rush pumping $700 million into it. So it's high time to learn how you can actually access it. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, we'll look at how to set up MetaMask to buy coins on Pangolin. Now, Pangolin is the second largest exchange for Avalanche for the Avalanche ecosystem, and it is often the first one to have very small and very new coins or gems like Teddy Cash. Now we've actually shared this gem Teddy Cash much earlier in the DeFi Academy. We first talked about it when it was at just 17 cents and it has been pumping hard since then. So if you'd like to get early access to gems like that and much, much more, then go down to the description and subscribe to my newsletter to get all the information about how you can join the d Academy as well. All right, let's dive in. All right, so now the easiest way to go about that is to first start on Pangolin and then it will ask you to connect your MetaMask wallet and then we can install that straight away. So that, that's what we're doing now. So this is Pangolin Exchange. I'll leave the link in the description so you can just go there. This is their homepage. And then to get into the exchange itself, you click on, on Launch App. So that will open. This is what it looks like. And then you see on the top right, it says connect to a wallet. So you click on that and you have two options. And what we'll do now is, so you want to connect it to your MetaMask wallet and we don't have that yet. So we'll click on install MetaMask. Now MetaMask is a simple Chrome extension. So it will just be on the top of your Chrome window. So you have to do all of that in Chrome. And it, it's a really simple process and it's one of the easiest and best wallets to use across multiple layer one blockchains. So we're here now. So you can click on download now and then click on install MetaMask for Chrome. So we're now in the Chrome web store. So all you have to do is you have to click on add to Chrome and then that's fine. You need to add extension. All right, so that took about five seconds and now it immediately opens up this new window. We have that funny fox that is always following my mask. So it's basically, so MetaMask is actually an Ethereum wallet that has been built for the Ethereum ecosystem and the Ethereum blockchain, but it can now be used across multiple DeFi, the, the DeFi web basically. So we can click on get started. And now you have two options. You can either restore a wallet that you've already set up earlier, but what we'll do today is we'll create a new wallet. So click on create a wallet. Now they want your your consent to improve MetaMask. You can either agree or, or not agree to that. So that even if you click on no thanks, that will work as well. So then you have to set a password. So this is something you need to remember. All right, then you have to agree to the terms and then click on create. So you could either watch that video, but we'll just click on next now. And now is, there is a very important part next, and that is your secret, secret backup phrase. So this is something that you definitely need to write down and keep in a secure place because this, will, this is your private key and this is how you can restore a wallet if you ever lose access to it. So it warns you here that you should never disclose it and you should make sure that no one sees your screen. So I'll click on reveal now. I'll write those words down. All right, then on the next page, you need to add the words in the exact same order that has been shown to you on the last page. So do that now. All right, after you've put all of those words in, you need to click on confirm and then you see congratulations. We're all done now. You can click on all done. That's all good. Then they have an update of what's new. You can uh, just click that away. That's fine. So you see, this is your MetaMask wallet as it is now. Now, a couple of things to note on top right on the top right you see this is the ethereum mainnet now as i mentioned earlier you can use it with a couple of other blockchains the main ones that you might probably use will be either avalanche or binance smart chain so these are the most common ones but what you need to understand is if you act on the ethereum blockchain then that always needs to say ethereum mainnet but if you act or if you, you buy something on the avalanche blockchain then this needs to say avalanche so always keep that in mind you'll also see it here here it says zero eth nothing of, of avax or anything like that so always make sure you're in the right one now the best way to go about the next step is to go back to pangolin and then refresh the page and then click again on connect to a wallet and now you see we've installed metamask so you click on that and then it will automatically walk you through everything that you have to do to set up MetaMask for the Avalanche ecosystem. All right, so it now wants to connect to MetaMask. That's fine, you click on next. And again, you need to connect here. 
And now you see wrong network. So we're in the Ethereum network, but we need Avalanche. So what it says here is please connect to the appropriate Avalanche network. And now if we click on switch to Avalanche chain, it will immediately help you set everything up. So we click that. And now it will tell you what it will add. So we have the network name, network URL, chain ID. You could also do that manually, but this way it's easier. So we'll do it this way. Once, you're, once you've read through all of that, that's automatic. You can click on approve. And then it also wants to switch the network. So it has now uh, set up that Avalanche network in MetaMask, but now it also wants to switch. And that's fine as well. So we'll click on switch network. All right, now we're all good. You can see we're now connected to that wallet. And if we go to the extension, it's best to pin it. So you always have it on the top right. And then if you click on that, you'll see for one on top here, it says Avalanche now. You can click the drop down. you'll see there's Ethereum on the top, all the te those test nets that we don't need. And then we also have the Avalanche mainnet. Then you also see, see here is your AVAX. So that's again an indicator that you're on the right chain in the right network. And then on the top right, you have your, your address, your public key. So this is whenever you need that, you can always just click on copy that. And you'll also see the last four numbers and letters. You see these are the same in here. All right, so MetaMask is set up for Avalanche. Now we need some coins here to buy those tokens. Now, the easiest way to do that is send over some AVAX because this is Avalanche's token and then you can transfer it or you can change it to other smaller tokens. You can also change it to EUSDT. So that's their, the USDT stablecoin, but on the Avalanche blockchain. It won't work if you send over some USDT from Binance because that's usually on Ethereum or you, you probably can't choose Avalanche. So what we'll do is we'll send over AVAX and then you can swap it for anything else. So that's what we'll do next. We'll do that from Binance. Binance. If you've never used Binance before, I have a tutorial about that. Link on top of my head and in the description. All right, so I'm now on Binance in my wallet and we have, se so I've selected AVAX here. Then you need to click on withdraw. Okay, so it chooses AVAX. Then we need to enter the address. So we'll go back to MetaMask and that's what I've explained earlier. You need to copy your address here. So simply click here that has been copied. Then you paste that in here. And then it will tell, it will give you a choice which network to send it with. Definitely make sure that it's AVAX. That's very important. It needs to be AVAX, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so I have AVAX here, AVAX here, that's great. And then the amount that you want to sell, that you want to send. So for instance, let's say I want to send 0.5 AVAX. All right, once that's all good, click on withdraw. Now I can double check here again and then click on continue. I'll, qu I'll quickly do all my 2FA stuff and then I'll be right back. All right, so that has been probably 30 seconds, max one minute, and it has already arrived. So AVAX is really, really fast. That's one of the really cool things. Also, the fees are very low, so I had to pay 0.01 AVAX. That is probably a couple of cents. So pretty, pretty cool. Now, that has arrived. You can also see, so I have both windows open, but if we click that away, uh, in my pangolin, you also see my balance here. So that is really, really great. So this basically works like any other decentralized exchange. So what you have to do to swap is select a token. And now what you'll have to do is if you want to swap to a really small and really new token, such as Teddy Cash, is you probably won't find it in here. So if we type that in, you don't find it. So what you need to do is you need to get their address from CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, paste it here, and then add the token. So I'll show you how that works. So let's go over to CoinGecko because they have they, they usually have newer coins a bit earlier than CoinMarketCap. Then you search for Teddy. So this is Teddy. And now what you have to do is you have to, uh, to copy that contract. So click to copy, and then we'll paste that in here. So you just paste the address as it says, and then you see Teddy shows up. And what you need to do is you need to add it. So it's, so because it's so new, that hasn't been added by the exchange itself. So you have to do that manually. So we'll click on add and then that's fine. You can close it. And now if you choose select token and search for Teddy, it shows up. Perfect. All right, so now I'll show you how to swap AVAX for a Teddy. So we choose that, and that works the exact way, same way for any other token. So first, always search for the token. If you can't find it, go to CoinGecko, Coin copy the address, paste it in here, and add the token. All right, now what you need to be aware of, if you click max here, 
It might work once or twice, but it needs some AVAX to actually perform the transaction. So I would advise you not to click max because I've made, I've made that mistake a couple of times. So it's better to really type it in manually. So for instance, let's say I want to trans to swap 0.45 AVAX and that gets me 10 Teddy at the moment. And then I still have 0.04 AVAX, that should be enough for a couple of transactions. All right, so once that's all fine, you can click on you can click on swap and then you have the overview again and then click on confirm swap. Then MetaMask will open because you need to confirm that in your wallet as well. So again, we click on confirm and then that has been submitted. You can actually close that window. You see on the top right, it's pending. It's very, very fast. So it usually really just takes a few seconds until that has gone through. So literally 10 seconds later and that has gone through. So now 0.45 AVAX has been swapped for 10 Teddy. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. So that's how to set up MetaMask, set it up for the Avalanche ecosystem and how to buy small coins such as Teddy. Now, again, if you wanted to get information about gems like this early on, go down to the description, subscribe to my newsletter to get all the information about how you can join the DeFi Academy as well. Plus in the next video, I'll show you how you can place limit orders to buy or sell at a certain price using Velox plus Pangolin. So this is a really cool feature that allows you to actually use a decentralized exchange being pangolin as you would a centralized exchange like binance so you can actually choose where you want to buy and sell coins which is really really useful so i'll show you that in the next video don't forget to subscribe to be notified about that about that as well if you like this video hit the like button down below share with your friends and be sure to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye